So this is going to be your part of your creative discovery thingy, right? Uh, maybe, yeah. Yeah. Tell me more about it. About what? About what it is you're doing. What, you mean my cre project creative career? Yeah, that's the word, yes. <laughs> <laughs> To use brain cells for that. <laughs> Do you have one and a half to spare? Mm -hmm. Hello, welcome to the video. I am Meg from Creative Lee. You are watching my very first video. Lucky you. This channel is all about making a creative career creatively and documenting the whole process. I'm hoping that it will be a very honest and open sort of diary of how I am very slowly investing into making money as an artist someday. It's not an easy journey and I have decided that it is still worthwhile for me because it's what I really want to do. I have lots of different interests creatively and I intend to cover it all on this channel and I hope you enjoy what I've worked on in January this year. Okay. This is the first time really I've talked to a camera like this. So please forgive me. I don't like it. <laughs> I, I want to attempt to paint with oils. I've never done that before. And I have a big canvas that Chef so kindly picked up for me. I have a picture in mind. I actually have two pictures I couldn't really choose from that I took on our honeymoon in Scotland of the beach since I've never used oils and I'm rusty on painting I'm, I'm not super experienced with painting so we'll see how this goes This looks like an octopus It's so much easier to blend. They're more expensive and I found a starter pack at a charity shop. The color is so rich, like the pigments. It just looks like a real painting, whereas acrylics, they're harder to work with. I didn't want to spend money on oils, so I tried to make acrylic work by spraying water on them and keeping them wet hoping that I could save some money and keep using acrylics in a way that would work better for me. I love, I love oil painting. <laughs> I've hardly done anything, but I love it. <laughs> oh. 
I really enjoyed getting to the cloud bit because I was able to experiment more with how the paint worked and blending. I felt like with the effect I was going for with the sand was kind of trapping me into this blend mode that I was actually trying to get out of and the clouds helped me feel more free and like I could make a mess and play with the movements and play with mixing. Even though I enjoyed it, I was left feeling a little not inspired by the colours. Something about it, I don't know. Uh, we were meant to go away for a few days so I let the paint dry a little bit and I needed a fresh eye. And when we got back, the sun had returned as well after one and a half months of hardly any sun in Oxford. It was back. this time I got distracted by another idea and wanted to work on a watercolour. I think it was the change of light, change of scenery and getting overwhelmed by such a big canvas with the oils. Now, a word from our sponsor. This is my first video and I'm no prodigy, so I don't have a sponsor. But what I can do is promote my book. 
In 2019, I self-published a poetry book that I illustrated and designed. It is available on Amazon or from other major bookstores, and I will read a very short poem for you. Poet for a day. My victory for the day was tracing the floor, walking out the door, and watching the rain pour by 2 p.m. I wrote this poem too. Thank you. Now you can go back to whatever you were doing. So now that we've seen the creative highlights of my January, I'd like to review what I worked on, what I think, how the process felt, what it was like. So what this channel covers is my project creative career, which is my attempt at making a creative career. I have sort of four avenues that I'm attempting to invest into, invest my time and effort and creativity. First avenue, which I focused on mostly in this video, is painting or visual art of some kind. Uh, the second one is writing. I love writing. I like to write poetry, I like fiction, I love writing screenplays. I have yet to finish much of any of that, but that's what we want to change. Third avenue is working with my hands, so creating sort of crafts, but also sewing. My undergrad was in fashion design, so I do know how to sew, although I am rusty as I am in many of these avenues. The fourth one is filmmaking, which is probably my loftiest and most loved out of all of these. I don't know, maybe writing. Mm. It's close, it's close, they're kind of related, but YouTube is a way for me to practice my filmmaking skills, working with cameras, working with Premiere Pro, um, editing, I love, all, well, I don't really enjoy cameras, but I love editing. This camera, I'm sorry camera, but you're <laughs> really in a nuisance sometimes. Uh, anyway, we'll, we'll go over how these things felt. Each video might focus a little more on one avenue than another. I don't know if I'll have some sort of rolling schedule on them or if I will go organically with how I'm feeling inspired or if I'll come up with a strategy that I feel like if I stick to it, it makes me more productive. I don't know what I'll do, but we're going to attempt to dive into these, see what works, see what I enjoy most. I have had these interests my whole life and have still not pinpointed which one I would love to dive into the most, what could actually make an income down the road. I have no clue, so that's what we're going to try and find out. We, can, we, we can't know until we put more time and effort into them. The first thing I made this month, I haven't captured the creation of it because that's a lie, I did capture it but my MacBook Air died and it has lost um, that footage. So <laughs> this little sketch is what started the channel because Shepard pulled out the camera while I was working on it. I was working by candlelight, not purely by candlelight, but it was, it was nice. It was a nice moment and he wanted to capture it. And I asked him what he was doing. He said, I'm starting a YouTube channel. It's not that simple how this channel started, but it kind of is. We were playing a lot of Wingspan. I don't know if you've heard of this game, but we were absolutely obsessed, kind of to an embarrassing level, and there's so many beautiful birds on the cards, and I looked up a Getty Image version of, um, oh, I don't know how to say it, Lazuli Bunting. I overall felt pretty good about this one. I used color pencils. It wasn't difficult. It was, um, I feel like color pencils, it's easy to control the colors. It's easy to control mixing. It's not messy. I can take it on the go. Um, I've started working on a little robin, which I'll focus on more next month, but I, I felt like it would make a good little greeting card or something. I do want to focus more on local birds, but this one is very, very pretty and I'm loving the berries. So I was pretty, pretty happy with this one. The second one I'll review is this creation, which sort of an explanation 
I was listening to a song that really inspires me already. I, I just get these sort of poetic images that I could draw when I listened to this specific song. And uh, Shepard had taken my AirPods for the day and I felt like I wasn't able to listen to it properly. So I thought, what if I just stuck my head between two speakers to get the full effect of it feeling like it's really in my head. You know what, I don't know what this is. I don't, I don't like it. It was rusty with watercolor. And so I liked the effect that I got um, with these flowers because I had gotten some practice painting her first. I don't know, I, di I didn't feel like I knew what I was doing with the paint, with the brush yet. By the time I got here, I understood it more. Even the watercolors seem easy, they seem hard at the same time. I feel like I'm not getting something and I need a lot more practice with them. Also, just the picture overall is very busy. It's not as balanced as I thought it would end up being. It feels like it needs to be cropped a little bit. And it's also so random. Like, I thought I had something going, I thought I had an idea, I thought it might work, but I don't feel like it does quite work. It doesn't look like a whole picture. It looks like a mess on the floor. I don't know, it just, it doesn't have an overall punch. It just looks like a bunch of things to look at. Also, the color matches my, my dress. I'm obsessed with this color now, and I don't know what happened. I just, uh, this color is everywhere in our house, and the things, any new things I buy, it's always in this color. I don't know what's going on. I don't, I don't. Anyway, the third piece I want to review is the oil painting, which I really like it. Um, I'm not done. <laughs> I decided to not be a perfectionist. Whenever I can, I try and practice a little bit of more acceptance and just not perfectly getting things done at a specific time, having things look a specific way, or details being combed through 50 times before it's acceptable. So I decided to not push and push and push and make sure that this painting is 100% done before I put up this video because I felt like that was not the best choice for me. It's almost done. It won't take long. It probably would be done in one more sit sitting, but I just needed some time and space with it. I'm very tired of it. <laughs> I shouldn't have done such a big canvas, but I kind of knew that. What I wanted to paint were the pictures from the beach, and what I envisioned them being was on a big canvas. And so what are you supposed to do when that's what you really want to do? <laughs> to anyone who knows what they're doing with oil painting or painting in general, could watch my video and be appalled at how I mixed colors on the canvas or I don't know my strategy, but I, I I was brand new. I was brand new learning it. I don't I didn't know what I was doing the whole time. And I felt like the top half and the bottom half were two different paintings and each one I did like three times. Like I did I did three painting versions of it. So I did the clouds once, didn't like it, did it again, let it dry, did it again. Same thing with the bottom. It's it's funny looking back at the footage and seeing where it was two stages ago and how it kind of looks the same, just slightly different, but it's completely new layers of paint and this thing, I could see it cracking very easily down the road. I'm definitely looking forward to doing another smaller oil painting at some point soon. Overall though, I found it very fun. The, the night that I really just broke through with the clouds, everything just kind of made sense all of a sudden and I got so into it and it was so exciting. I loved the color of the sea being very bright and almost not completely realistic. It just gives that moody storm look. I love moody lighting. I love thunderstorms. I love really intense looking clouds and light. It's just so dramatic and I like that I was able to pull some of that out of the pictures even though they weren't quite there in the pictures. I did want to add that in. I did like that in the first go I was trying to copy how the waves were moving in one of the photos. They looked like waves in the sky and I feel like I lost that 
when I started working on the clouds the last time. I liked the colors and they looked more realistic. I did lose the specific movement I was trying to go for somehow. The little rocks and the sea foam around them were giving me such a hard time. I've tried different ways of doing them. And I still have yet to figure out how to do that properly. At one point, I was painting the texture on the clouds with a little paintbrush and I thought it was I thought it was looking quite <laughs> quite nice. Um, and then we went to someone's house and they had like the textured ceilings. <laughs> and I pointed out to Shepard that it uh, that looks like my painting and he's like, "What am I supposed to say to that?" <laughs> I'm overall happy with it. I didn't know that I would be. I was prepared to share it whether I liked it or not. I do pretty much like it. I need a lot more repetition practice. I feel like I need a lot more repetition with like watercolors, with smaller oils, getting more comfortable with different types of paints that I enjoy and understanding how to get different effects with them. Okay, the last thing I want to review is the filming process. Making these videos is part of the creative process. I think the hardest part of this video has been coming to it without any built up skills or habits yet. I feel like just because my skills are rusty, kind of new, I'm learning how to build good habits and make things quicker down the road. Everything was a lot slower this time. To set up the camera takes forever. The camera is not the best for this. I have to sit down and test that it's focused on me, go back and forth over and over again because it doesn't just automatically focus on me. So if I'm a little blurry, that's why. There were times where I couldn't get the right shot for what I was drawing on this camera. So I took another camera and I handheld it while I was drawing just so that I could get a better shot. And I really liked the shot, but it was really not the easiest. Also, cameras are so needy. <laughs> It's either the battery or the card or something that I don't even understand or the light that we use. It would just die. It would be charging and it would just turn off. And I, I got so annoyed with it at one point. <sighs> if it wanted some battery, I'd give it some battery. If it wanted some card, I'd give it some card. It's a very complaining creature. This is really awkward saying all this straight to the camera and it hears me, but it's inanimate so it doesn't hear me. But I feel like I'm being very rude. Also, it, it wouldn't usually take too much time to just set up the camera for painting, but it was an added thing. Like if I just wanted to paint, I would have to set up the camera first. Also, because I was gonna be on camera, you know, I, I might sometimes paint in complete pajamas and no makeup, just come as I am but if the camera's gonna be on I have to try a little bit and so that was just another part of everything. I was a little worried that it would create a bigger block in my head of getting to creative things making it harder to get to the canvas but it wasn't too bad. Mostly I enjoyed it and the editing was so much fun. Oh I just get so into it. It's just it becomes a zone. You get into flow state it's great. I hope that you can be a little inspired to take the time to do more of what you love and to be creative. I also wanted to remind you that you are God's handiwork and that you were created in Christ Jesus to do good works and this includes your creativity. I really hope you feel encouraged and I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification so that you know when I have another video. Thank you guys! Thank mm -hmm. you.